The nail-biting drama of the 2024 UEFA European Championship continues and a meeting here to determine which country will make it through to the final. The action is next on EA TV. Hello, great to have the pleasure of your company and welcome to our coverage of this semi-final here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. My name is Derek Ray here on the commentary position and sitting next to me providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. Keen anticipation ahead of this colossal encounter. It's England and they take on Slovakia. Well, what a matchup between these two excellent teams. Both have played really well to reach this stage of the tournament. But which one is going to go through to the final? I think this could be really close today. Happy to take on the shot. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Paul Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. The opposition starting 11. Well, they're also playing with two wingers, which should mean an exciting oh, game. Oh, big chance here! Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Bukayo Saka. Now well, there to intercept. And Bellingham. Can he play it in? Promising move, but timely defending when it mattered. Promising move this from England. And winning it back. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Walker. On to Alexander Arnold. And Bellingham. Well, there's the pullback. Foiling his opponent completely. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. <laughs> and the defenders know they need to get tighter. Opportunity to take the lead. It could be up for grabs. Well, no damage done. Bukayo Saka. Saka. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. It just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Stanislav Lobotka. Well, he's beaten his opponent. Oh, commanding goalkeeping.
trying to deliver it accurately and he'll take efforts like that all day long Duda a very good tackle is it going to end up being productive for them well nothing comes of it it looked promising Bellingham Stones well, that's how to dispossess your opponent a credit to him for the challenge and the throw in conceded well, England have controlled possession, as you can see, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. It's something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Peter Pekarik. Well, he's been forced out of play this time. Bellingham. Foden. Now Harry Kane, Foden, and options in the centre, Kane, on to Trippier, defensive Brazilians, can he put them in front, oh no, he's missed the opportunity, and they remain level. Well he just lacked composure there didn't he, they should be ahead now. by the keeper might give him a chance oh that's a super piece of defending crossed into the penalty area and no nonsense defensive clearance if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on What can he do with it now? Crossing opportunity. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And take it away. Now with Alexander-Arnold, Declan Rice, Alexander-Arnold, Trent Alexander-Arnold, they really look after the ball when they have it, now what can England do from this position? And they couldn't quite muster a real threat, bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, great vision. Illegal play, and hence a free kick.
Not away completely. Not trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. Now Harry Kane and England pushing forward with options available but nothing comes of it Well they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them Walker The cross is on what a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Go, go. Now we have 30 minutes to go. And England have it back now. Good looking sequence. Well, not cleared away completely. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Declan Rice. And Bellingham. Rice with it. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? And Bellingham. Trippier. And on to Bellingham. Well, the keeper wasn't worried in the slightest. Stanislav Lobotka moving the ball forward how creative can they be there's still danger here and eventually goalkeeper's ball well you can sense the relief amongst his teammates but what a first save that was and in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through now we're inside the final 15 minutes Bojanic Duda still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it and he takes it on pretty simple for the keeper well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. 
but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Pressure applied. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Harry Kane getting into position to collect it. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. And there it is! They've broken through! Better late than never! They might just be on their way to the final! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And the finish from Foden shows what a good technical player he is. It's an excellent goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Harazlin. And the defensive intervention there. Saka. Peter Pekarik. High pressing and good high pressing. Harry Kane! A goal! And surely that will do it! Electric scenes here! It's full speed ahead to the final! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. nil now and back on the way well, three minutes of stoppage time that's what the officials have said Skriniar onto Lobotka Denis Vavro Benesh Duda on the ball Harazin and then is. It's official now. England will take part in the final here at the European Championship. Well, that was an excellent display. The result was never in doubt in my view. They controlled the tempo of the game. They looked threatening when they went forward and they had the better individuals. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. So a positive night for Harry Kane. Sum up his performance for us. Well, that performance sums him up really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.